What's up everybody, Scott from Enduro America. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Kenda Ibex Series tire. I've had this tire now for about 10 hours and we're going to be talking about that just coming up. Stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to head out to the van here and we are going to check these out. These are the new Kenda Ibex tires. This is a follow-up review. Sorry for the mess. I've got stuff kind of all over the place in here. I just got done from riding. Um, so here's what I've got. I've got a KTM 300 XCW and the Kenda Ibex on the rear. Um, I mounted a hour meter on this bike the same exact time I put this tire on here. And let's see what it says. It's totaling out for us right now. So we're at 7.8 hours, uh, which is a decent amount of time on this. So we're at 7.8 hours, and you can still see all of these lugs, you know, they're, they're pre pre pretty darn squishy still, just like they started out with, you know, not a lot of time. So the reason I'm made the, making this is I've, I've heard a lot of guys that are talking about having the lugs ripped off, and I'm curious to see, uh, I guess, what you weigh, one, um, number two, what kind of pressures you're running in this bike. Three would be what type of bike you're actually on. Uh, if you can leave those three things in the comment section below, uh, it would help me kind of tally on what's going on. But I don't have any issues with, with lugs tearing off. Um, I did notice, I just came out here and looked, I have one on this side. Oops, sorry. It's got a little bit, if I, if I push really hard, you can see it's kind of coming apart a little bit. At 7.8 hours though, I wouldn't consider that like excessive wear at all. You can see the lugs um, are pretty well rounded on the front edges. You know, I'm, I'm more of a trials background type rider too, so I mean I'm not spinning my tires like crazy. Um, maybe that affects it a little bit as well. And then one other thing, the pressure. Like I said, I'm, I'm interested to see what kind of pressures you guys are all running. Um, I'm going to zero this out. I've got a digital meter. So let's see. All right, so I'm at 5 PSI right now. Oh. So there's 5 PSI on my digital gauge. So I've been running this tire at 5 PSI, and I do have tubeless in the rear and, and in the front, for that matter. Um, so I don't know if that affects it or not. But let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear all your comments in the comment section below. Um, again, give me, your, give me your weight, your type of bike, uh, maybe how long you've had the tire on for too, approximately, and then what pressure you have in the tire. And uh, hopefully that'll kind of give us all a little bit more information um, on on the issue of, of having lugs ripped off. Again, I haven't had any issues with these tires with the Ibex. I've been running them like crazy. Um, I don't know if, if you guys know, I'm kind of a Kenda nut, nutcase. I've, I've got a ton of their tires. I actually have an entire garage filled, um, or an entire rack of tires over here, uh, top and bottom, that I keep for all of my bikes. The GS, the Husky. So we've got quite a few different tires over there. Um, but again, leave your comments in the comment section below. i uh, love to hear about what's going on. If you can see the Jeep in the background, that's going to be the next video. We're going to do a little build update. If you guys haven't seen the Jeep, it's a pretty cool little rig. A um, little driveway build my wife and I have been doing. Uh, but I hope you all ride safe, and we will see you next time.